If your voice chat is not working on Valorant, then we know how to fix it. Simply watch this video till the end to learn how you can fix it. Hey, you're watching Silicophilic, the home for all tech users. When your voice chat is not working on Valorant, it mostly happens due to permission conflict or if the wrong device is selected. Here, we have shown you how you can solve this problem. So make sure to try out all the methods shown here. Before we get into the solutions, subscribe to our channel for future tech support. Also, like this video if it helps you solve this issue. If the issue isn't resolved from the solutions we have shown here, comment below to let us know and our team will try their best to help you out. So let's jump into the solutions. Method 1. The first thing you need to do is check if the correct in-game settings are selected for voice chat. Open Valorant and open the settings. Click on the audio tab and select the voice chat option. In the input device drop down menu, select the correct microphone device. Move the mic volume slider to the right to increase the volume. Now make sure that the party voice chat option is on. If this isn't on, then your voice chat won't work on Valorant. Save the settings and check if the voice chat is working correctly. Method 2. If changing the in-game settings doesn't solve this problem, then you will have to check the microphone privacy settings. Right-click on the Start menu and select the Settings option. Click on the Privacy option. Look for the microphone option on the left panel and open it. Make sure that apps are allowed to have access to the microphone by enabling this option. Also, scroll down and check if Valorant is among the listed apps and if the toggle beside it is enabled. Method 3 the last thing you can try to fix this issue is update the audio drivers. Press the Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type devmanagement.msc and press Enter to open Device Manager. Expand the Audio Inputs and Outputs option and right-click on the microphone driver. Select the Update Driver option. Click on Search Automatically for Drivers option. Wait for Windows to find updated drivers and install them. Restart your PC and that's it. So there you have it. If this video has helped you in figuring this issue, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to comment your feedback on the solutions or if you are facing any issue while performing them. We also have a Facebook group of troubleshooting experts where you can share your tech issues and get direct help. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching Silicophilic.